Uh, hi, hello. This is the fourth devlog for my game Project Harbinger. Um, and today I just wanted to show off all the stuff that I've been working on since the last video. Uh, it's only the 25th. This video is going out on Saturday, so 28th, I think, maybe. I'm not good with numbers. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to show off what I've been working on. I'm not going to be able to upload or work on the game for the next few days, so I thought I'd get this done now. Um, today I've only really worked on one thing, which um, I'm going to show off now because it's really handy. Um, so I have these, these are all my models, and this assault rifle is one of the things that uh, doesn't work, but I want to show that it exists. So I'm going to just lie it down on the floor. And this is basically my process for making unlockable items in the game. Uh, so, I've already got the actual thing set up for the hand poses and uh, actually holding the model. I just haven't got a way to unlock it yet. If you start the game now, you only start with the multi-tool. So, I wanted to show off how I make the unlockables. Um, so, I'm lying the model down just where... It, this is not going to be where you find it in the actual game, but while it's still in a demo, it's, I think it's fine to just leave it here. Um, we're going to give... The objects colliders and a little component that comes with the plugin I use for the interaction system. And I've made a custom grabbable type called the inventory unlockable grabbable. And this is just a script I made to set up the ability to unlock items. So any item you want to unlock, you just come in here and you just put whichever one you want to unlock in there. And that should do it. I didn't realise how easily I'd made it until just now. Uh, I've actually got another one set up just over there. You see that little shimmer that keeps popping up? Uh, that's one of the other things that I have set up. Uh, and you may also notice that these checkpoints were here in the last video. Um, this is because the enemies, uh, the buzzers over here, they actually can kill you now. So I've set up checkpoints, so if you die, you get teleported back. Uh, so I'm going to now hop into the game, and I'll show you the progress I've made. So as you can see, we've got that little animation as we load in here. Let me give you the big screen version. There you go. Uh, and if we open up our inventory, you can see we have our multi-tool. Uh, the sound effects and everything for that are now in. Uh, and if we shoot, that's very placeholder. That was just the old web guy swinging sound effect but when you shoot the grappling hook it plays a little uh like swing swip sound but yeah i just found it on free sound i haven't really messed with that if you press down the right trigger though you can now switch modes and this is the gun mode this is also placeholder for sound effects and visuals but you can shoot and there's little particles that only work sometimes the, on, the, on the environment though, anything that isn't the environment, it seems to work perfectly. I don't know why, I'll try and fix that. Um, so yeah, we've got our multi-tool. Now there's actually two other items. There's one that's supposed to be here and one that's supposed to be here. And that's why we set up that unlockable over there. But we'll start off with this one here. This is something I added today. And this is the sword. So again, placeholder. Um, it's got this lightning trail which is just repurposed lightning from the hands that I was messing with. But now when we open the inventory, we have the sword. So that's basically what I, I set up today, was that unlockable system, so we can unlock different items throughout the game. Uh, same with this. This is the assault rifle. Ignore, again, the, the image is a placeholder, um, except for, well, this one again is still placeholder, but it actually is the multi-tool. Um, this gun doesn't work because I'm lazy, and the sword doesn't do any specific damage. Um, the only thing that can actually damage properly is the gun, and obviously you can just punch them to death because any anything that hits enemies at a certain velocity will damage them. Uh, anyway, if we now swing across here, you may notice that new area over there. Um, I'm going to show off dying, which sounds like something you wouldn't really consider, but if you remember there was a checkpoint here, I'm going to let these buzzers shoot me with their eyes, and the watch now displays your health, so when we die, there you go, we get teleported to the, that's an issue, uh, we get taken to the 
the area where the checkpoint is. I should make it over here, but then the enemies would all attack you instantly. Uh, so I need to mess with where they're placed and all that. Um, so yeah, as soon as your health hits zero, you get taken to your last checkpoint and all the enemies get rechecked to their previous positions. Um, there's only one thing which I haven't added, which, if we die again... Any of the enemies that have already died will not respawn, which is probably an issue. Considering when you die, you're supposed to be taken to where you last started. But I will, I'll fix that another time. Um, oh, one thing I completely ignored is that big machine over there. That's the um, teleporter, and it's how we're going to get between levels, basically. Uh, and different like sections of levels that would usually be unreachable. Uh, that's one of the ways that you're going to get around. So if we open up this door, this is something that I made uh, a couple days ago. Uh, again, there's slight issues, like these empty insides for the walls. but um, And this button's placeholder, because that just came with the asset pack I'm using again. But I quite like how it's coming out so far. Uh, if you come over here, we have, is going to be how you get health in the game. And I was working on a physics-based wire system of some kind, which has some issues I need to iron out. But basically, you're going to be able to plug this into your watch and refill. Pretty simple. And also, the door's still a bit meh. It could do with some work. Here is another teleporter to actually show you the teleporting. Now this is going to be how you control the crane. That's just something random and fun I wanted to make, but I haven't yet. Uh, anyway, uh, as I said, this is the teleporter. If we press this button over here, we can open it up. That sound is placeholder because it's the same as that door. I just couldn't be bothered to make another sound effect. We're getting some lighting issues in here. There's meant to be like a pink. Yeah, you see that? Uh, it's fine. I'll fix this. Um, anyway, if we just click this button over here, the door will close, and hear that little sound effect, that means you've been teleported, and boom, we're now back over here. Uh, a lot of this is, as I said, placeholder, like, this sword, this rifle, they all need a lot of work. Um, the only thing that's kind of going to stay pretty much the same is the multi-tool and like I said the gravity mode isn't done but yeah that's basically how this level plays out so far you grab whatever tools you find at the start and you swing across to the other side you kill off some of the enemies you head inside you mess about with the crane or something I don't know what people would want to do in there uh, you hit the teleporter and kabam that's as far as I've gotten with progress so far and like I said I probably won't be able to work on this over the next few days. Uh, some of the things that are going to be added are a speed ability which sounds weird but it was a suggestion from the discord and I think it sounds quite fun. So yeah we're going to be adding a little object uh, like ability type thing you'll find it in your inventory. Come a bit. Press a button, you get speed for a second which slowly kills you off uh, if you use it for too long. Now it's going to be quite a fast speed ability. And I have some ideas for effects and stuff, uh, but I haven't got it in the game yet, nor have I made anything for it. Uh, I planned on doing it today, but I didn't have the time after I realised that I didn't have a way to unlock weapons. <laughs> so now we do. That's all good. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you later.